Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Make Human Community 1.2.0 to create any of the 3D avatar and finally import into the Blender 4.0 with full skeleton and also the full facial bones. You can create any of the facial expressions, the lip sync in Blender 4.0. So start from now, I'm going to show you the step by step. First, I'm going to design a 3D avatar in Make Human. Right. I'm going to the geometry to give this avatar a shirt. Right. Once done, I'm going to create the shoes as well. Next, I'm going to back to the modeling. The gender, the age, you can just drag it and this is the annex city. Then you still have a lot of the variables that you can you can adjust for your 3D avatar. Right, next I'm going to go to the geometry again. I already chosen the, the shoes. I'm going to give him a hair. Then next is the teeth. Just choose the teeth base. Then go to the topology, go to the eyebrow. Choose an eyebrow. Right, the eyelashes, the tongue. Next, go to the material to assign a material for this 3D avatar. Let's say the young Caucasian male. Next, I'm going to choose the eyes. I choose the blue. If you satisfy already, next, just go to the post, go to the skeleton, just choose the default no toe so that it will have the bones. Then go to the post, we choose the T pose. Then that means now it really have the facial bones, the full body skeletons already fully rigged and just save it, click file, save, and I choose the location as demo, I'm going to choose it on the desktop, and the name, I'm going to name this as male, Caucasian. 01, save. This is just the make human project file, and we are going to export the FBX, choose here, then always remember to choose the meter, then. Just click, click here to export at a good location. This is the desktop, mail, Caucasian, 01, FBX, click save. Now it is going to export as FBX file that you can use it for any other third party software. But this FBX file, we still need to fix some of the problem. Just because of if you open your Blender 4.0, and press A and press delete buttons. Next, we are going to import this FBX and I will show you the problem. I click file, import the FBX. If I import directly from the, the, from the desktop, the male Caucasian 01, then it will have this type of the problem. The skeleton is too long and too big that we are unable to fix it in Blender. If you know how to fix it, please show me. But I have an alternative method to fix this problem. Then I'm going to press A and press delete to delete everything. We just need a third party software like the Corrector Creator 4, the CC4 or Autodesk Maya. Now I'm op opening the Maya as well. And I will show you how these two third party software it's, go it's going to fix the skeleton's problems just in one second. It is really easy. So first I'm going to try the CC4. I drag in the FBX. Then I choose the prop. This is the Corrector Creator 4. This is a paid software. If you need this software, you can just scroll down, go to my video description. I already put the, the link, the official link of the Corrector Creator 4 at the bottom. All right. So the next step, you see I just imported it then. I, I will just create a new folder from my desktop here from CC4. All right. 
Next, I click File, Export, FBX. I just import it and export again. It's selected. Then, export for the blender. Then, here choose the mesh only, embed the texture. I click Export on my desktop. From CC4, I'm going to name this as Male Caucasian 01. Save. Now you can see just within one second, I import and export it from the CC4. Now I'm going to import it into the Blender. The CC4 exported FBX. I import it into the Blender from the desktop, from CC4, double click. Now you can see all of the problems already fixed. I turn on the texture. Look at all of these skeletons. I click here. I I click and select the skeleton, I click here, viewport display, I change it to let it in front. You can see all of the skeletons are already systematic. Here I choose the stick. Let's say alright, the ice problem, I click click the ice and click here to fix the material. I scroll down, the blend mode, I change it to become the alpha hash. Then scroll up again, the metallic I choose. 0.5 right now you can see the eyes really get fixed and look at this facial expression i click that go to the post mode now i can just manipulate any of the facial bones i click this now you can see you can rotate the eyes in your 3d animation right you can manipulate some of the facial expression like the brow because all of these are facial bones Here, the mouth. Look at this. This is exactly the jaw bone. I just let the jaw to open. The mouth will automatically open as well. And you can see this is a full skeleton, the full body skeleton. For example, this is the hand. So now this is a complete 3D avatar with the facial expression with the facial bones, the facial skeletons, and also the full body skeletons, full body bones. You can create any of the 3D animation here. All right, as just now as I mentioned, if you directly import the FBX file into the Blender, the skeletons will have the problem. But if I, I use the Creator Creator 4 to just import and export one time, it will fix it will automatically fix the problems of the bones. And not only the character creator for you can use the Autodesk Maya as well. I close this. I try to use the, the Maya. I just create a new folder from Maya. So now the original skeleton, the original FBX file is on my desktop. Do the same way I drag and drop into the Autodesk Maya and wait for a while. Now it is loading the whole the whole 3D avatar. All right. Next, I click File, Export All. Then on my desktop, inside the folder from Maya. Then, at here you have to find the FBX file format. Choose 2011. Then the file name. I'm going to name this as Male Caucasian 01. The FBX file export. I click Export All. It is going to export the FBX file as well. This FBX file is get fixed as well. So now, in the Blender, I'm going to back to the object modes. I press A and delete everything here. We try to import the FBX file that exported from Autodesk Maya to see whether it get fixed or not. Click File, Imports FBX from the desktop. From Maya, the male Caucasian 01. I try to import it. Now you can see it gets fixed as well. We try to check the bones, check the skeleton. Just let it in front, choose the stick. And then just look at the skin. It have a lot of the reflections. You can fix this just by using the material. The metallic, you change it to become zero and press enter. It automatically get fixed and click the shirt. Metallic change to zero. 
this really easy. The shoes also click and click the shoes. The metallic change to zero or the all of the materials get fixed. Next is the ice problem. It is still there, but it is easy to fix. Just click then, go to the material, scroll down. The blend mode change it to alpha hash, then scroll up. The metallic change to become 0 0.5 and enter. Now everything gets fixed already. We just test one of the skeleton, for example, the eyes. Click and go to the post mode. We test the skeleton, test the bones. Is that all of the skin weight already get fixed? Yes. The hand. Yes, okay. The facial expression. For example, the jawbone, open mouth. Yes. Everything okay. Then the brow, the eyebrow. Yes, okay. Alright, so from the make humans, from the make human to Blender 4.0, in order to fix the skeleton's problem, you just use a random third party software like the Autodesk Maya or Creator Creator 4. Just import and export a new version of the FBX file. Then you can fix everything and finally you will get a complete awesome 3D avatar in Blender 4.0 for your 3D animations. Alright, next I'm going to show you how to export FBX from, <coughs> from Blender. First what you need to do is just back to the object, object mode here, then go to here and click the empty area, press A and control A to make sure click all transform. Then save this blender file and as demo I'm going to, to create a folder here. I name this as male Caucasian. Blender. Alright, so I save this Blender file. I click File, Save As. On my desktop, the folder is Mail Caucasian Blender. I name this file as Mail Caucasian 01 and, and then I click Save As. Now, I already save a, a blend file here. Then I click File, Export, FBX as well. The path mode I choose Copy, then click. Here, export FBX. Then now, you already get a complete FBX file that already have the embedded texture. At the same time, it already have all of the skeleton. And you can share this with your friend. It is really easy because this is the final version of the FBX file that already have a complete texture and also complete materials, complete skeletons. With all of the material get fixed. It is really easy. Alright, that's all for today about my tutorials on how to import the Make Human 1.2 3D avatar into Blender with full facial skeletons, with full body motion skeletons, and also full material fix. And of course, we need some, tr some third party 3D software to fix the skeleton problem. And, and also, if you know how to fix the skeleton's problem without the third-party software like the Maya and CC4, please tell me, please share with me, and we can just learn together and help everyone to fix the issues. Because these two software, they are paid software, they are quite expensive if you are just a, a random user of the Blender 3D animations. Maybe if you feel you want to purchase the CC4 just for her fixing the make humans skeletons problem then it is up to you and that's all for today about my tutorials on how to export the make human software and import into blender 4.0 thank you for watching if you love my videos tutorials and sharings if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3d modeling 3d animation and 3d game developing you can subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video, tutorials or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animation and 3D game developing. See you!